Hi guys, my name is Jing Jing. I live in Beijing. I want to talk about this novel coronavirus outbreak.、Um, because during this time, people living in China are definitely going through a tough time.、Um, we stay indoors. We wear masks if we have to go to public spaces. We got our temperatures checked everywhere we go.、Um, we take all measures possible to、uh, contain this virus, to stop this virus from infecting more people. It definitely changed our lifestyles and affect the economy. But if that's what we have to do to contain and conquer the virus, that's what we will do. It's not easy, but it's not apocalypse. But when I read news from some media or simply by checking Twitter or Facebook, I feel like people outside of China are much more panicked than us, the people who are actually living in China fighting the coronavirus.、Um, I feel like somebody, some media. Is feeding on these rumors, fears, anxieties, and racism they were created among the people who don't know much about this virus yet. And this virus became an excuse for a lot of people to maintain their stereotypes that Chinese are uncivilized, dirty barbarians. There were so many misconceptions and rumors about this virus and China as well. So in this video, I want to bust a few rumors and talk about racism. So scientists believe this novel coronavirus comes from bats, just like many other viruses. Ebola, SARS, all comes from bats. But it's still unclear how this virus jumped from wildlife to humans. And now there were some Chinese scientists are doing research, finding out that、um, the animal pangolin might be the intermediate host. But then, like people start to blame Chinese for eating bats. And、um, there are some videos about Chinese girls eating bat soup it, are circulating on internet, leading people from other countries start to blame Chinese, blame their eating habits, and、uh, blaming oh these、uh, Chinese because of the Chinese are eating bats, they brought this coronavirus to humans. But there are so many things that are wrong. First, let's talk about this video, which went viral on the internet. In this video, this Chinese girl was eating a bat soup, but this video was shot in 2016 on the Pacific island of Palau for a local television show. Palau is a Pacific island, which is right here on the map. It's a beautiful tropical island and ideal choice for many tourists. She was eating a fruit bat, which is a common delicacy in the island of Palau. So she was trying something different, something adventurous, just like all the other tourists would do when traveling to a different country, different places. Actually, if you search on TripAdvisor, you will find、uh, tourists from around the world asking which is the best bat soup restaurant in Palau. So this video is not the origin of this novel coronavirus outbreak. First, because it was shot four years ago, and second, there were no cases of novel coronavirus. Found in Palau, even people there have been eating that for a really long time. So far, there were no evidence showing the bat soup is the origin of this novel coronavirus. Another thing I want to point out is bats. It's not a common dish in China at all. Me, as a Chinese who was born and raised in China, I had never seen an actual bat until 2018 when I was traveling to Australia. I've never seen bats being served in any restaurants I've been to. But you cannot blame all Chinese blaming their eating habits based on one or two videos you saw online. Recently, there were many Chinese living other countries have shared their experiences because recently they found、uh, people in other countries start to avoid them, calling them、uh, dirty. Bad eating Chinese covering their mouths and nose when encountering Chinese on the streets, and some Chinese even got beaten up on the streets. This news made me particularly sad because、uh, I used to study and live in Sheffield. I love the city. I mean, it's 2020. After so many races and different groups of people have fought for their equal rights, fought against the discrimination, there are still people exhibiting such racist behaviors towards a group of people. People start to make memes tinged with racism, calling this virus China virus or this virus is made in China. Even media outlets like the German magazine is spreading racism with a title says "Coronavirus made in China." The virus is not made in China. It lives with animals probably already for hundreds or thousands of years. Now it has mutated and is able to infect humans, just like all the other viruses and diseases we encountered in human history. 
We encountered Black Death from 1346 to 1353. That outbreak ravaged Europe, Asia, Africa, and took the lives of almost 200 million people. We encountered at least seven cholera pandemics in just past 200 years, which affected almost all continents. We detected the first case of HIV AIDS in 1981, and since then, almost 25 million people across the globe have died from it. We also encountered many major outbreaks in recent years. In the spring of 2009, the first case of H1N1 was detected in America, and it pretty soon it spread beyond Mexico and America. The CDC estimated that um, between 150,000 to 575,000 people across the world have died from H1N1 in the first year the virus circulated. In 2014, the Ebola outbreak swept through the West Africa, caused a major loss of life and a socioeconomic disruption in that region. Did we label those viruses as made in America, made in Mexico, made in Africa? Imagine how would people react if we did label those viruses as made in America, made in Mexico, or made in Africa, and discriminate against um, people from those regions, blame people from there. How would people react? If that is unacceptable to you, then it should be unacceptable to Chinese as well. Rumors, fears, and racism are misdiagnosing the real problem. It won't help us to figure out how to fight this novel coronavirus. The thing is, as humans, we are all bound together. Figuring out solutions, solving problems together is what we need to do now rather than blaming a group of people. Because tragedies like natural disasters, virus outbreaks won't befall humans based on their nationalities, ethnicities, or skin color. No one knows who will be the next target, who will be affected. And when such things happen, we will all need sympathy and assistance from each other. A helping hand, not a judgmental finger.